What's up, party people? Uh, a few days ago, I saw the Three Stooges. <laughs> and uh, I really still am asking myself why I saw it. But uh, I really have no good answer for that. Other than uh, when I was a kid, I watched a lot of the Three Stooges. Um, I love the Three Stooges, as any male child would, perhaps any child would. Um, and I still love the Three Stooges, as probably any male, period, would. Uh, and, I, I mean, I wasn't disappointed. I mean, I still had fun. I mean, it was, it was okay. I'm giving it a five. You know, I'm giving it right down the middle. I think five is fair. Uh, it's very stupid. Um, at times it doesn't make much sense. But then again, this is the Three Stooges. Um, it's a love letter to the Three Stooges. Uh, we've been seeing so many love letters uh, disguised as films lately. Um, the Three Stooges is about three boys uh, left at an orphanage. Uh, or fa yeah, orphanage. They grow up uh, to be incredibly destructive for some reason. Um, you know, they they cause uh, violence and uh, havoc, uh, chaos wherever they go. Um, fear. <laughs> Everyone's afraid of them, but they have you know pure hearts, so they are accepted. Um, they grow up in this orphanage. They cannot be adopted because, uh, again, they are chaos incarnate uh, and apparently cannot be separated. Um, so they grow up in the orphanage. And meanwhile, the orphanage, uh, for some reason, goes bankrupt. They have to close it down. They have to raise nearly a million dollars to pay off the bank save the orphanage that's that's it so they set out you know out into the world having been sheltered all their lives uh to try and make you know this million dollars <sighs> to save the orphanage um that's pretty much what's it about what it is about uh it stars uh will sasso um, why did I just forget his name? Sean Hayes. Um, Will Sasso, he's, he was in that mockumentary, uh, Drop Dead Gorgeous. I remember him from that. He stood out in that. He's also from Mad TV. Um, I think if, if memory serves correctly, he was a founding father of Mad TV. Um, he's, I mean, he's been around, he's been in plenty. Uh, he's the big guy. He played Curly. Uh, Sean Hayes from Will and Grace played Larry. A new face to me and a new name. I can't even say it's like Dean Monotopoulos something played Mo. I did not recognize him really. Uh, Sophia Vergara from Modern Family is in it. Um, an actor, uh, I've seen him a lot. I was a big fan of Boston Legal. And he was on Boston Legal. Craig Bierko. Uh, Craig Bierko's in it. <laughs> He's fine. Um, Larry David is in it. Uh, <laughs> He's in a bizarre performance. Um, bizarre role, at least. Um, he's very funny. I just imagine that Larry David is the biggest uh, Three Stooges fan. And that's why that he, he took this job. Uh, obviously, he doesn't need to work. Um, I would think that maybe he had some kind of uncredited rewrite, uh, just because, again, to have someone of Larry David's stature in such a weird role, um, I don't know. Again, he must have a deep love for the Stooges. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it in terms of cast, at least what I can rem uh, remember. Brian Doyle Murphy, Murray, not Murphy, uh, Bill Murray's older brother is in it, and very good. Uh, who else is in it? I whatever. The movie excels and is funny when 
when it's the Three Stooges. Uh, when, when these three people are <laughs> being so incredibly violent and hateful towards each other, um, it's hilarious. You know, uh, but whenever it, like, I don't know. Again, everything is so silly. It, I mean, it, it almost feels silly for me to even review it, but, I mean, characters come and go, they disappear. I, I kept on thinking something was going to be a running gag, and it wasn't. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I don't know. It, it's just very dumb. Uh... <laughs> Again, but it's the Three Stooges, so it's like, what do you expect? You know, what do you expect? Uh, but, I mean, it is, it's laugh out loud funny. You know, it's laugh out loud funny when it's the Three Stooges. And I'm sure that they are pretty much just bits that have been done, uh, you know, a long time ago. And this is just recreations uh, lovingly handled and meticulously recreated, but, uh, you know, recreations nonetheless. Uh, and you could probably just get more enjoyment by watching the old Three Stooges. Uh, I think they recently had the entire, like, series come out on Blu-ray, so... Maybe you're just better off renting that Blu-ray uh, and watching the original thing, the, the real deal, more than the imitation. Uh, but it is very funny. All of my uh, favorite jokes are intact. You know, it. Uh, they even had the, the opening theme song. Um, you know, again, it's just like you're watching The Three Stooges. Uh, they tried their best to, you know recreated uh they being the Farrelly brothers that that's one reason why i had no problem seeing the movie is that the Farrelly brothers i think are you know very talented when i was a youth i mean <laughs> their movies kind of meant a lot to me uh being primarily dumb and dumber and kingpin uh you know if you make those two movies Especially Kingpin. I mean, if you make P Kingpin, then I think the rest of your career at least has to be watched once. You know, I, you know, they get a pass from me. I'll go see their stuff because they made Kingpin. Um, and Dumb and Dumber, you know, and Dumb and Dumber. Uh, I wish that they would have gone more with it. You know, I, th I think they, I wish they would have been riskier. Uh, or, you know, just take more chances, be a little bit more extreme. Um, this is a PG-rated film. Uh, there were a lot of kids in the theater, um, a lot of grown-ups in the theater. Uh, so just a good mixed crowd. Uh, so, I mean, maybe I could see why they didn't go so far out, but uh, again, I could have used like a little bit edgier, like, I mean, I hate to say it, but maybe bring them into the 21st century. Um, I don't know, just edge it up a little bit. I think, I think if they would have taken a little bit more risk, um, uh, because I think, you know, especially with like, there's something about Mary, um, I think that's, you know, a risky film at the time. And that's probably considered to be their best film. I mean, I think it's probably my third favorite of theirs. I prefer Kingpin and Dumb and Dumber, but again, something about Mary is, is so out there and risky that... I think that that's why it's so memorable. Uh, so I wish that they would have, you know, gone for it a little bit more. You know, gone for it a little bit more. Uh, I really don't know what else to say. I mean, when it's when it's the three stu the the best scene is like uh, you can almost see it coming. They're on like a stage, and they're doing a you know five-minute uh, physical comedy routine that's absolutely hilarious. And when they focus on that, when they focus on the choreography of comedy uh, and this violence uh, slapstick, it's, it's hilarious. Um, I'm a big fan of slapstick, though. Uh, so maybe I'm a little biased, but I thought that it was damn funny. I thought it was damn funny. And... 
I don't know, but it did like wander, you know, a bit. It did wander. Uh, again, it seemed to like go one way for a little bit and then just totally disregard it and go another way. Uh, but again, I had a fun time. I laughed a lot. Um, the audience laughed a lot. Uh, I don't know. I just had a good time. I, I didn't think it was great by any means, but it, it's definitely not bad. So I think a solid five is 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 fair. Five is fair. Um, so that's the Three Stooges. I don't know what else to say. If you love the Three Stooges and you've probably already seen it, uh, I'd say that <clears throat> it's definitely a fitting tribute. Uh, definitely a fitting tribute, but you're better off going with the original. You know, the original is the best, is the best, but uh, a fine tribute nonetheless. So that's the Three Stooges. Thank you much.